Hello everyone, here's a question from whole numbers. The question is, using distributive property, solve the following. We have a two question. Now here they have clearly said that use distributive property. So here we do not multiply, we will not going to multiply the numbers directly. We have to use this property called distributive and we have to solve it. But before we solve this, let us understand what we mean by distributive property. Suppose I have a number like, I am just taking a variables here. Suppose we have a into b plus c. Okay, a into b plus c and b plus c they are in like under addition over here. Now in that case, I am going to open the bracket. I am going to multiply. So this is our number outside the bracket which is getting multiplied that is a. So we have to multiply this a with b and then we have to multiply this a with c. It's like we are opening the brackets. So this will be equal to first a into b. We are multiplying a and b and there is a plus sign here. So put plus sign and then multiply a with c. So it's a into c. So this is called distributive property. It's nothing but you're distributing here. It's like you're multiplying here a with b and then the here in this case there's a plus sign. So we'll put plus sign here. In case you have a minus sign, you can put minus sign here. It's like a distributive property under, multi under subtraction and this is under addition. That's it. So same thing we're going to use here to solve these two problems. So first we have here is 360 multiplied by 102. Now you have to split this number in such a way that you will get something plus something or it's like some number minus some number you can do in that way. So here 102 I'm gonna sub I'm gonna split this number because it's easy to multiply I'll tell you how. So here I have a 360 I'm not gonna split this number multiplied by this 102 I'm gonna write it as 100 plus 2. Okay. Now we're going to use a distributive property. So multiply this 360 first with 100 and then later with 2. So here we have done 100 plus 2 because here it's easy to multiply with 100 and also with 2 instead of multiplying with 102. Right? You can even uh, open 360 like it, it will be 300 plus 60 and then you have to multiply with 102. So we just uh, split a number which is easy for multiplication. So this will be 360 multiplied by 100 then plus 360 multiplied by 2. Now here when you are multiplying this with 100, you don't have to multiply, just put this two zeros at the end. So it will be 360 and then followed by these two zeros. Plus 360 multiplied by 2 will be equal to, sorry, uh, yeah, 360 multiplied by 2 will be equal to 720. So this is equal to Now you have to add this two, so it will be three six seven two zero. That's it. So same thing we will do for the next two numbers. That was the first problem. So here also you can split a number. Now here this is interesting one. The first one we have got hundred plus two. In second case I'm going to use a subtraction here. So here we have thirty five multiplied by ninety eight. So here. I'm going to split this 98. You can split 35 also like 30 plus 5. Again you have to multiply 90 and 5. So it, like you can multiply it's easy. You're going to get the same answer. Or you can just split the 98 here. I'm going to split 98 here. So 35 into instead of writing 90 plus 8 I'm going to write it as 100 minus 2. See again multiplying with 100 and 2 both is easy right. So we're going to write it as 100 minus 2. In the previous case it was 100 plus 2. So here the plus has become minus. That's it. So 35 into 100 will be 30. So let me write down 35 into 100. Let me put this in a bracket. Then minus is there. So put minus sign. Then 35 multiplied by 2. So this will be equal to 3500 0 minus 35 2 is 70. So you have to subtract this 2. So when you subtract this 2 you will get 3430. So that's it. This is how we can use a distributive property to solve the problem. In case you have any other question from this chapter or any other chapter, you can drop a comment. I'll try to make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching.